What is up guys, welcome to Tech Savvy Buyer. So you just finished building your computer and it probably looks something like this, or maybe it doesn't. What is the first thing that you're supposed to do? And I think the obvious answer would be to load an operating system on it. Now the funny thing is, in most of the videos that you watch on YouTube on how to build computers and how to set them up, buying different components, all these different types of tips, guides and whatnot, they all basically help you figure out what kind of computer you wanna build that has specs that meet your needs. However, nobody really addresses the fact that you have to keep about 150 bucks of your budget stored aside for an operating system of your choice. Now, that being said, you do have some options. You can always run Linux, you can always run you know, Mac OS custom bootcamp type stuff on there if you'd like to, although those are really buggy. Or you can just stick with the traditional Windows 10, which seems to be what everyone likes to do and everyone likes to go for. So in this case here, if I wanted to build a computer that was great for 4K gaming or great for editing and whatnot, and I set out this budget for $1,000, and that's what I made a video on for you guys. Hey, here's a $1,000 gaming PC build or editing PC build or whatever, and these are all the things you're gonna need to buy. Let's say you do all that, finished, built your computer, it's ready, you power it on, nothing comes in. And that brings us to our current dilemma. You don't factor in the cost of an operating system because it is drastically expensive and that kind of becomes a factor for people not wanting to spend that much money. Or you may think, well, hey, I can go and boot like this or I can just stay not activated or whatnot and just keep it for free. And that may be true, you could do all those things, but you're not gonna take the maximum benefit out of the computer the way you built it and the way it was intended to run by Windows themselves. So with that guys, now Windows can be pretty expensive. It's about you know 150 bucks to 200, depending on where you go to get it and which model specifically you get. But today I'm gonna show you guys how you can pick up a copy of Windows 10 for super, super dirt cheap. I'm talking less than 15 bucks cheap. It's an affiliate ship that I have with the brand that I've been working with for over a year now and I've had nothing but good things to say about them and they've done nothing but good things for every person I've referred towards them. So I'm gonna share you that with you guys. I'm gonna show you guys how to use it, how to go ahead and navigate through the website, how to install it, do all that jazz. But before we go ahead and do that, let's get a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by PDF Element from Wondershare. PDF Element is a dedicated PDF tool that you can use to create, edit, convert, and even fill and sign PDF files. With a few simple clicks, you'll be on your way to editing and creating PDFs in no time, as it is a very easy to use software. PDF Element is compatible with both Mac OS and Windows, as well as iOS and Android. It's the best alternative to Adobe Acrobat and is a fraction of the cost. For a limited time, you can pick up a copy of PDF Element Pro for 60% off retail, making this an absolute bargain. Act now and get your copy of PDF Element before the sale expires. See description below for more details. Guys, make sure you check out PDF Element in the description below if you're interested in getting a software like that. Honestly, I know it may not be super relevant to the stuff we're talking about today, but PDFs are something you're gonna come across whether it's in your school life, business life, or personal life, and it's always good to have tools necessary to create, edit, and modify those documents. So make sure you give them a check out if you guys need to, and it's on sale right now, so you may as well get one if you need one. Anyways, so, Let's jump into this. We're gonna head over to the computer and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what we're gonna do to go ahead and pick up a copy of Windows 10 for dirt cheap. See you guys there. All right guys, so let's jump right into this. So the website that I'm referring to is gbgmall.com. This is the website I use to get all my Windows keys and it works fantastic and it's super cheap. It's legit, it is everything that you'd want. Now the first thing you gotta do is obviously after heading over to the website is you wanna create an account or log in. Now, if you have a Google account, you can go ahead and just log in with that, make it super simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and just log in with my Google account. And once you're in, all you gotta do is in the search bar, type in Windows 10. Don't hit enter, don't hit anything else. You're just gonna type in Windows 10. So you can see here, they have several options of different things, even up Gears of War 4, I don't know, you know, they sell games and stuff too, but we're here for Windows 10. So you see we have Windows 10 Pro OEM CD Key Global and they're selling it for $16.99. We're gonna go ahead and click buy now. We're gonna add this to our cart, go to our shopping cart, proceed to our checkout. And in the promo code, we're gonna put TSB, short for tech savvy buyer, and we're gonna hit apply. And that should knock 20% off, bringing our total down to $13.60. Now to check out, you've got a couple of options. You can go through with PayPal, Visa Pay, or use you know Bitcoin or Alipay or any of the ones that make sense for you. I think PayPal is the most safest thing to do. I would recommend that you guys go ahead and use PayPal. So I'm not gonna complete the transaction in this example because I've already done it a few times and I obviously don't need it, but I'm gonna show you guys what to do. So once you finish your transaction and once you've paid for it, 
you're gonna click on your username up here and you're gonna go to your purchased orders. Once you go to your purchase orders, you should be able to see all the different products you've bought. And you can see I even picked up Office Home and Student 2019 edition for only 35 bucks, or actually in this case, 29 after using my code. So same thing here. Back in December of last year, I picked up a copy of Windows 10 for that much, and I can go ahead and pick up my codes. You should get this button right here. You click on it and it's gonna display your code. Once you get that code, you go ahead and copy it, minimize out, hit the Windows key, type in activate, and you should head over to activation settings. Inside here, if you guys are not on an activated copy of Windows, you're not gonna see what I have here. However, you will see that you have an option to put a product key in. So in this case, just open up this dialog box that you see, control V or paste in that product key that you got from gvgmall.com, go ahead and hit next and you should be set from there. It's as simple as that, it's as straight as that, and it's as cheap as that. Once you need to go back and ever take a look at your code, just like I have access to it here in my account, you can do the same thing in your account and having access to your code whenever you need. Now, overall guys, very straightforward, very simple. Let me know if you guys have any questions with this, but anyways, I'll catch you guys back up in front. And that's it guys, you officially got a copy of Windows 10 for less than 15 bucks. As I promised, it's super cheap, it's legit, easy to get, and very easy to use and very easy to install as well. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys found this content helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you guys like my channel and like this stuff, go ahead and subscribe while you're here. It does help the channel grow and you can be part of an amazing family. Do a lot of cool stuff with computers, gaming devices, and especially PS Vitas, because I know a lot of you guys love those. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much the end of this video. If you guys are interested in this kind of content, make sure you check out my channel for more information and you can see some more videos and stuff that I do. Now, as always, thank you very much for sticking around through to the end. I appreciate it very much, and I will see you on my next one. Peace out.